Okay, bit of an informational one, uh, AMS2. Uh, graphic settings for VR. Now, these are going to change depending on your rig. So I'm running an i7-11700, 16 gig of RAM, and a GTX 1080 Ti. You may have a bigger rig, you may have a smaller rig. But let's go through it. Okay, so... First up, resolution, Windows mode, yeah, uh, and, and all of this, basically, now take this with a pinch of salt, this is just the way I look at it, all of this is what's going on on the TV screen, uh, to an extent, the, um, this, this, and this affects your headset as well, but this... This and this is uh, just for what's coming on your monitor. So if you're recording, you're recording off the monitor. So that's important to you. Okay. So texture, res texture resolution. Yeah, have it high. Um, it's eating memory more than anything else. So if you've got plenty of memory, you should be all right. Um, ooh, what else have we got down here? Going to the bottom of the list. Uh, reflections, environment map. Reflections, they are what they are. The reflections that show on your car. Environmental map is what reflections show on your car and what reflections show on other cars. Okay, so these can be quite heavy hitters. Car detail speaks for itself. Um, trackside detail, um, all the little cranes and people and all the rest of it around the track. That's what that's for. Shadow detail, I run medium. It's good enough. Um, again, a heavy hitter. So push it up, push it down. Uh, heavy hitter, turn that off. It's the law. Um, render frames ahead, leave it at one. It's the law. Detail grass again, it's the law, and it's also a social norm. Keep that off, those will hit you hard in your graphics card. Particle level, particle density that's for um, du -du -dum -du -dum, smoke off the tires, spray, rain, bits of rubber being kicked up, and yeah, again, they're kind of heavy-ish hitters, nothing major. Okay, so the other thing, visual effects. Now, these do actually take a bit of a whack. Do use up quite a bit of um, GPU power, but they look nice. So, you know... It's a balancing act. I've turned some stuff down in in in, uh, in the visuals to bring in. Sorry, I've turned stuff up in the visuals and turned stuff down on the other side um, to get what looks good for me. So you can see what I've got on there. It's pretty much everything apart from vignetting um, and heat haze, which don't really work well in uh, in VR, to be honest. Um, but yeah, they're, they're, they're the nice to haves, but they are, they will eat up frames per second. Not a huge amount, but you'd be surprised, especially with these, the sun flares and stuff and the bloom, they will eat a bit. Okay. So that is my VR settings. Uh, you can use that as a benchmark if you like. Um, and we'll have a quick look. One lap just to see what that gives you. Um, oh yes, I'm using the Rift S. Oculus. So one of the things you wanna look at, excuse me, I'm stepping into the rig and my headset's on top of my head. So I may sound a bit low, so I'm shouting a bit. I'll bring you back down with a clunk. Okay, so one of the big things you wanna look at is <coughs> the Resolution of your headset the track is and what your graphic the card can do. The older cards don't like pushing 2K, 4K. 
yeah so if you've got an older card a 10 series card you may want to look at something like the rift s with a lower resolution this is the big thing about vr let's drive All right, is Aaron, that get ready let me reset the headset is that it's a moving image Three, it's go, not go. a still image you're looking at so when people start pixel peeking and looking at your megapixels and all the rest of it um, that's based on a still image things are moving things are fluid the big thing is frames per second how smooth is it on your right if it's smooth Hold your line. then you're good so Hold frames per second is what you Still there. Clear right. should be right. prioritizing over graphics Hold your line. Clear right. Great start. a well smooth done. running potato looks better than a stuttery potato is all I'm saying and I kind of come at it from a, a, a Valak will know what I mean, from a, a kind of a photography side. So I've seen it with the camera world. Oh, this has got, you know, 48 megapixels. This has got 50 megapixels. It's like, yeah, picture's a picture's a picture. Um, I do some, or oh, did some commercial stuff for magazines. I use a 12 megapixel camera not too long ago my phone's got a higher megapixel count but the camera makes better pictures and as with VR it's not about how many pixels you've got how smooth can you transition those pixels it's video it's not still images so the biggest thing is is Come on, it's my first and last lap, I know, but did you have to spin me round there? Revenge. <coughs> Jim, did you get his number? I can see, still see him. That is my target. So yeah, the big thing is, is how smooth is the image? If it's a stuttery mess, it's gonna distract, it's gonna look awful. If it's smooth, doesn't matter how much eye candy you've got on. If you've not got any eye candy on, if it's smooth when you're looking around, it's going to look great. It's going to look good. Also, you're not seeing 3D, which you all know. Um, you're also looking at a one lens of my VR headset that's made square and cropped in because my lens is around and you've not got a round monitor. So you're looking at a low resolution, cropped, zoomed in image. So image quality wise, doesn't really equate on the video as to what you're seeing in here. People go on about screen door effect and all the rest of it. I was running a CV1 before this. Once the image is removing, there isn't any screen door effect. Oh, my eyes aren't good enough to see it. There's certainly none in here. But it's all a balancing act. If you've got a Quest 2, I have run the Quest 2 on my 1080 Ti. And it runs it quite nicely, actually. Um, it just gives you less room to play around with the eye candy, shall we say. Um, only difference yes it is clearer yes it is sharper but it's a moving image at the end of the day my eyes are going all over the place my head's going all over the place there's a million things to look at I'm not fixed on one thing and not moving my head I'm looking can I see any detail can I see any you know anyway that was a quick look at um, my VR settings and a little bit of a maybe give you a guide if you're struggling All right adios if you ever wonder why suddenly at the end of my videos i go adios and my head goes out the car 
is because I've got to stop the recording and the keyboard is just out of reach and goodbye!